Hi, so today we're going to be going over a MacBook Air that doesn't turn on. We're going to go over it from start to finish. So first thing that I'm finishing doing here is just removing the main board from the machine. Let's just make sure I haven't forgotten anything here. This is an A20-00165. It's one of the newer models. Newer 2015 models here, 15, 16. And it would help if the idiot took all the screws out of the motherboard. It always helps when you're trying to you know, take a machine apart that you actually remove all of its screws. So let's pull you out. Put this aside. Let's take a look and see what we get here. So, it's plugged in, has no light on the charger. Now, the first thing that we check is PP3V42. Let's see, what angle does this look good at? Define the angle at which you can actually see the multimeter. Is it here? Here. Okay, here we go. That looks good for me. So first thing we need is PP3V42 for the one-wire circuit. I would suggest just looking at my one-wire circuit videos. If you don't know what the one-wire circuit is, it'll make everything very simple. And the one-wire circuit works on PP3V42. PP3V42 is present. Now the next thing that we're going to do is a basic little inspection of the board. Try to get an idea of what went where and what's wrong with it. So follow me over to the microscope, will you? So the first thing that we do here is we look through. And the first thing that we do, huh, wrong mode. The first thing that we're supposed to do here is check and see if PP3V42 is present. So let's see if we have that. Not 3.42, but that's close enough. So now that we know that we have 3.42 volts, let's just look for a hint on the board. It's interesting. This is, so tell me if you see anything as I move. It's interesting. This, uh, this, this I, I don't know whether to call them a couple or one of those, you know, modern, I think I'm a couple. I don't really want to define my relationship bullshit um, things. But, yeah, this, so this guy comes. He wants to leave something off. And, I'm, you know, the not-girlfriend, I guess, is there. Oh, you see this? See that fucking quality manufacturing? Look at this. What, what, what is this shit? This is the crap I expect when I, when I fucking solder a chip myself. What, the, what, what is this shit? Get the f fucking app. Anyway, so he, he, he comes in, wants to leave something, and, aha, uh -huh, liquid, but I'll take a note of that. And he's like, well, I guess I should give them your number since you're the one who's going to be picking it up. And, he's, and he looks at her and he goes, what's your number? And I go, and then she just looks at him with this terrible, awkward look and this miserable face. And he doesn't pick up on why that's wrong at all. And I just, I couldn't help but laugh. And then they saw me laughing and then they left without leaving the machine. And it's like, listen, I mean, I'm not going to laugh in your face, but yeah, I am going to. I am going to smile at your stupidity if you look at, you know, the person that you're dating like that. And Man, okay, so we got to, this, this is off here. So I'm going to have to place that back into place. Ugh, what the, f okay, this, this is, this is nasty looking. 
And PP3v4, two areas nasty looking, even though PP3v4, two works. Now we go to the other side of the board. That looks disgusting. We'll look up what that is. My... Oh, that looks gross. We'll have to see what that is. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So we have a lot of general nastiness here. Kind of curious what a lot of this stuff does. Let's open up the board view and the schematic and take a look. You know what's fucked up is I still actually remember the phone numbers of almost every girl I've ever went out with. Like, I'm going through them in my head right now. And I, I, they're actually, they're, they're still there. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want them to be there. I would, like, I've deleted them from my phone. It would be nice if they could, you know, five years later be deleted from my brain. But I still know their numbers. And it's not even like I text them or I call them or I communicate with them. I mean, I haven't, you know, talked to most of them since soon after I stopped seeing them. But I still remember the numbers. It's just so... I, I don't get it. I'm like, wh what the fuck? I guess it's... It's me. I'm missing something. So, now the, the nastiest shit that I saw was, was the... Uh, right around down here. So what is this stuff for? Beamon... Could give two shits less about Beamon. Beamon current sensing. Could give two... C CSO, current sensing. Charger guy, I don't, I don't give a fuck about this. Okay, that's, that's not going to cause my lack of green light just yet. And oh, that SMC area looks nasty. Take a look at that. Oh, fuck that. All right, so let's just go with a slight reflow of a bunch of these areas and touching up some things and go from there. And of course, a little, a little bit of jizz by the chip responsible for PP5 ES5. So we're just going to go with cleaning up all the jizz and see what it looks like from there. Get the air filter on. Hello. Let's go down the rest of the of the of the, of the, bo of the board. Get down. Throw that resistor back into place. Created some solder blobs to match apples.
probably going to wind up replacing that thing anyway, so. Okay, and also SMC area. Let's get rid of that edge bonding. Okay, finally. Okay, now I gotta put that resistor back in place by the LCD connector area. Huh. There's no resistor out of place by the LCD connector area. That's odd. That was definitely out of place. Any luck? Quick luck. Nah, no dice yet. Alrighty then, time to check for something like SMC Reset L. And see if we get anything. Now, SMC Reset L is going to be what tells the SMC it's okay for it to turn on now. That's going to be on pin 5 of U5110. 
which is going to be somewhere up here. I'll find it momentarily. No SMC reset L. So, next thing here, this chip requires 3.42 volts to operate. So let's see if the PP3V42 rail is present. And the PP3V42 is present. Now, is PP3V42 making its way into the chip? It is. Let's see if the SMC area has any corrosion. Huh. SMC area has no corrosion here. And let's check SMC Reset L to see if SMC Reset L is coming out. It isn't. So at this point, let's try replacing S the chip responsible for the SMC reset. So we're going to take this old one off of the board. Remember, that the SMC is what's going to talk to the charger, and the SMC is what's going to allow the, SMC, uh, the charger to have a green light and turn on. Apple's not the only one that gets to create little solder balls. Equal opportunity balls. That's not soldered on properly, but Ooh, that's... oh well. A light? No light. Okay then. Let's continue here. Is SMC reset L there? No, it's not. And we know from previous videos that means the SMC is probably pulling it down. Or R5100 is bad. Where is R5100? R5100 is a pull-up resistor. That's going to allow that signal to be where it is. So let's show you what I mean by that. 
So R5100 is going to pull up SMC reset L unless the SMC or this chip pull it down. So R5100 is sitting between 3.42 volts in here. So R5100 is in the middle up here. Piece of shit. Okay, there's 3.42 volts there, and I'm pretty sure when I measure it, I'm gonna see the 100 kilo ohms that this, this is schematic is telling me I'm, I'm supposed to be getting here. Close enough. Fucking piece of shit. Okay, so. That means the SMC is bad. Well, boo. Why are you balling SMC? <laughs> Man. Fucking shit. I don't care if I burn this one because it's bad. Here, fuck you. Come off my board. Get the fuck off of my board. Oh, I hate this part. This entire process is just meant for a factory worker that makes a dollar a day. I know there are things that are going to suck about every job, but I don't know. I just hate this one. <laughs> Pick up all the lead-free solder. 
There's going to be a couple of these that look like they're ripped pads, but they're actually not. It's just... Just remember, every time you see something that you think is fucked up, ask yourself, is that actually fucked up, or is there an, an Apple engineer that's trolling me? And I, I, know, I, I know in my heart that it has to be that the Apple engineer is trolling me. No, really, they look for a company where it was, you know, like, what their pads look like on their chips are, are they, they, they chose a company where their pads, without solder on them, actually look like ripped pads rather than a pad, just to fuck with me. But no, it's not going to work. Nice try. Do you ever want to let the Apple engineers win? I'm telling you. If you let the Apple engine, if you want the Apple engineers to win, then it's about time for you to hit that subscribe button until it turns into an unsubscribe button, and just pack it in and go. Because I sure as fuck don't do all this work, teach you how to do all this stuff so that you can let the Apple engineers win. And they try, they try real hard. And I know what you're going to be thinking, Lewis. No, they don't. Lewis, you're paranoid, you're making this up, really? Why is it that if you try to read the firmware off of this chip that it erases itself? Why? Tell me that. Because they have flashers and readers for this chip. Why is it that if I try to read the information off of this chip that it fucking erases itself? Because there ain't no top secret information here. This is an SMC, System Management Controller. This does things like, hey, see the battery. Hey, charge the battery. Hey, what temperature is the CPU? There ain't nothing proprietary here. There's nothing special here. There's no trade secrets here. But if you try to read that chip, uh-uh, motherfucker. You better not. No way in hell are you programming new chips. No, you got to rip them off of liquid damage dead motherboards and put 96 little balls on it and hope that it works. Fuck you. And people wonder, I mean, it, why? how could you possibly have such a low opinion of Apple? How could you do this job every day and not have a fucking low opinion of Apple? I mean... Really, like, how could you actually put, do this every single day and then go home thinking, I love Apple. They're a great company that cares about their users and the people who work on their stuff. I love... No. Get the fuck out of here. It's impossible to do this job. Literally, like, impossible to do this job, be knowledgeable at this job while you're doing it, and like Apple. You just can't. You, like, you will realize the truth. They are fucking pricks. I try to read the fucking chip that controls charging the battery it so that I can have that firmware so I can place it on a new chip. The chip erases itself. I mean, like, why? Explain to me, explain to me what the fucking point is to this. It's bullshit. All right, so now we're going to clean out the stencil. It still has balls in it from the last job. Still has balls in it from the last job. Oh man. The comment section is not going to forgive me for that one. <laughs> okay. I know what most people are thinking. Oh, that's not properly aligned. There's, that's not perfectly aligned. You're not aligning it according to IPC suck, my <laughs> You know what I would go to bet? I would bet that 99% of the people that criticize my alignment of most of the things I'm doing have never done this. 
I would say nine, a good 99% have never actually tried this before. And I would say of that 99% that never tried it before, I would say less than 1% of them would get it right. Or actually make something work again. Okay. Okay, even by my standards, this is probably the most warped stencil I've ever seen. It would be nice if you could go to Amazon Prime and just buy a stencil. Can I have a stencil for an A1466 SMC, please? Thank you. That's good enough. All right, we'll I gotta hunt some guy down on AliExpress. Gotta pray that after I pay for it, he actually ships it. Gotta pray that after I buy it and after he ships it, that it will get here in less than three months and that by the time I get it, I won't forget that I ordered it. Nah, can't just buy, can't just buy them and program them. Nope, that would make life too easy. That's fine. I'll get you back, Apple. I'll make sure people around the world fix your shit when they, instead of buying new ones. Make sure as many people as possible know how to get around your bullshit. Because that's the thing with computers nowadays. I mean, there's not a lot of compelling reason to buy new for the average consumer. Shit is fast and good and cool enough, you know? Apple knows that. These companies know that. They don't want you making the old stuff work again. The old stuff breaking is pretty much the only new revenue stream that they're going to have. We have balls. I have balls. Really badly aligned balls. Yeah, that was a joke compared to some of my other SMC replacement videos. This one went really poorly. Really poorly, man. All right, let's see how shitty this was. Let's get the stencil off. Come on, under the chip. Tweezers. Go under. Okay. Okay, that was pretty shitty. That was really shitty, actually. Let's see if what we can do with this. I can save most of these. So a couple of them combined and formed a big ball. No biggie. I'll just place a couple of these manually and we'll be on our way. One. It's like counting sheep to go to sleep. One solder ball. F fuck you, solder ball. Fuck you, solder ball. Good little solder ball. Worst SMC reballing video ever. 
bad solder ball. Like, I know my hands suck. But, like, this is a new level of suck even for me. Like, where? Uh-uh. No. Look at how they want to run away to the wrong path. Okay, we're just about there. Upper right. I'm gonna make a really clickbait title for this video. Reballing Gone Sexual. Gone Sexual. Be a view whore. Become the Nicole Arbor of motherboard repair. Nicole Arbor. Some balls are slightly bigger than other balls. It's all going to kind of get evened out when it gets on the board, though. Because the chip is going to sink. You'll see how the chip sinks in a place. My ball.
Ugh, what a dirty job. My balls just... My balls just fell on my balls. There we go. It's not in the place yet. Now we're going to make a dance. Get in the place. All those balls even out. Drop on the board properly. And now cool it off. Now my hot air station is shooting out cold air. Now we're going to Cool the chip using my rapid cool technology. Once your finger gets warm, it's time for some fresh alcohol. It's rapid cool technology. Bam! Good stuff. Now, obviously, I, I have a lot of little things to replace here. Because this board looks like shit. And even though it turns on, there's so many things on there that, as I say in a lot of these videos, uh, no, it does not belong on my board because of how bad it looks. I'm not going to leave something on there that has a brown, rusted-looking edge that's corroding, that's completely destroyed. That's just not a nice thing to do. So, what was wrong with this board? We had missing SMC reset L, and that, as always, was not the actual chip that creates SMC reset L causing it, even though I always assume it's the chip causing it. And it was yet again the SMC. And one thing to note that I do want to test on here is I did use an SMC from an 8203437 on an 8200165 or 4 board. So we're going to see if there's any negative consequences to that. If there are negative consequences after the testing, I will update everybody in a later video. You should never assume that an SMC from one board is going to work on another. It's something that is... Um, it's... Uh, So the issue with this is that SMC Reset L wound up being missing, and we had PP3V42. PP3V42 was here. However, after we realized PP3V42 is there and that SMC Reset L was missing, once we replaced the IC, which looked like it had wine on it for SMC Reset L, at that point... At that point, ah, 
at that point, we can then assume that the SMC is what is bringing the signal down, which is what's been happening more and more often lately as long as I'm putting something on camera. So we replace the SMC, and it works. The SMC reballing did not go as planned because I did not align the stencil as well as I could have. In addition, not only did I not align the stencil well, but that stencil now looks like a ramp in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater instead of being flat. So that's that for today. I hope you learned something, and yeah, that is it.